Hi guys, welcome back to Dee's Kitchen. So today we're going to fix the most easiest recipe that you probably ever see me post. So today we're going to fix some Pillsbury cinnamon rolls. I know you're probably thinking, why are you gonna post that? But because I'm gonna add just a little bit of twist to it and because I have a taste for them. So, for this recipe, you need Pillsbury cinnamon rolls. And I'm topping mine off with chopped pecans. So, let's get started. So, to start off, I am going to cook my cinnamon rolls on my piece of stone. I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love my pizza stone. I use it for lots of things. So, let's see here. Let's open these up. Usually, I have to give them a little knock to them to pop open. And I'm just going to Place them on my piece of stone, giving them a little space in between. That's the top for the icing. Um, I need that. So I'm just set that right there so I get done doing this. There we go, we have our cinnamon rolls laid out on our pizza stone, and our icing is in the bottom. So I'm just gonna take that out, place the top back on it. And um, I know most stoves, well, I'm not gonna say that, but um, I'm just going to put this, set this on a plate, and due to I have not a flat surface stoves, I know most flat, most stoves that have like the traditional eye, you know, like I have, it has one of them, which mine would be this one right here in the back, that um, has the heat that comes up from the oven. So with that being said, I'm just going to place this plate on top of that eye with the icing in the plate so that the heat from the oven is going to warm this up um don't make the mistake that i made before and place the icing on the eye without a plate because it melted the container and it was a disaster trust me you don't want to clean up a mess so we're just going to place that there i'm going to turn my oven on 350 and we're going to slide our cinnamon rolls in the oven and we're going to get this thing going So I'm going to cook my cinnamon rolls for about 10 to 15 minutes just until the bottom turns um, a light golden brown. I don't want them too hard. I don't want them um, gushy on the inside raw. So I'm going to cook them until say 10 to 15 minutes until they about a lightly golden brown on the bottom. Our Pillsbury cinnamon rolls has cooked for 10 minutes and they are just the way I like them nice and fluffy pretty and golden brown you can turn your oven off now and I'm just going to Take my icing, you see the icing, I know the, the, the light, it is melted from being on top of the, um, on top of the eye. So I'm just gonna 
stir it around. It's a little hot on the bottom, so be careful. I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a butter knife. And I'm gonna spread it on there. How about we put them closer together? Closer together. And spread it on there. Like that. Doesn't that look good? Okay. I'm going to set that there. Next, I'm going to add my chopped pecans. And I'm only going to put pecans on a few of them because my son is going to eat some of these and he have a nut allergy. So... I'm only going to put pecans on a few of them. Like that. Doesn't it look good? Super easy. A five-year-old can do it. There you go. Pinsberry cinnamon rolls with a little bit of twist to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video of my Pillsbury cinnamon rolls with pecans. They are awesome with a glass of milk. That's what I'm about to have. So as always, thanks for watching. Bye.